The Omicron surge is in full swing and this week will be a critical one to watch as we look to see where the COVID-19 pandemic is heading next. More than 1700 new cases added today, higher than average for Monday. Positivity rates remain through the roof. It's suggested to keep them below 10. Right now, we're in the mid 20s. Deaths have been higher than ever since mid December. We're still losing close to 20 Arkansans a day, and that number has risen a bit over the past week. Last week, we told you the full impact of the Christmas surge had not yet begun in our hospitals. Well, this week, we expect to see the results of transmission during the holidays. THB 11's Ashley Godwin found out our largest health care providers are seeing twice the patients they did last week. So were you surprised when you saw that the numbers doubled so quickly? No, I think that we saw this coming uh, from what we had seen uh, in other countries. In the past week, the number of people hospitalized has increased by 40% in Arkansas. Well, we've seen over the past week that the number of patients that we've admitted with COVID has doubled. At CHI St. Vincent, they've gone from numbers in the teens to in the 30s. And at UAMS, they expect to hit a record high number of COVID patients. We expect we may be in, in the 80 range uh, pretty soon. While we are still below our peak from the last surge, the steep increase we are seeing with Omicron is impacting our hospitals, straining the limited staff. We've had a lot of health care workers leave the workforce. Not just nurses, but other critical providers, too. Uh, and, and that has been compounded now by uh, quarantines. But so far, the surge has not caused symptoms as bad as the previous waves. We currently have none that are requiring ventilators. That, that may be the only bright spot um, in that uh, this variant does not confer as severe a disease profile as Delta. Baptist Health is also seeing an increase of patients. Right now, they have more than 150 COVID patients across the state. They are also seeing record numbers of people needing to be tested for the virus, which is causing wait times that could be hours long. In Little Rock, Ashley Godwin, THV 11 News. Thanks so much, Ashley. Now hospitals are looking at the data to see how long this surge could last. While there's no way to be 100% certain, some models are showing this wave peaking before the end of the month.